<laughs> Let, final stop on the Castro Legend Nationwide Series for season number four. And what's been a wonderful season series this season. It's the it's the second leg of Ford Championship Weekend. One series has been decided with the trucks with Cheyenne Claus champion taking the championship. Now let's see who takes it in the Cash Lunch Nationwide Series. It's stop number 36, the Ford EcoBoost 300. Get a Cash Lunch Nationwide race. On the pole, it's car number 70, the Johanna Long car of Kyle Matthews at over 190 miles per hour. Looking for his fourth win of the season, third win of the season, I believe. Alongside Joshua Michaels in the 12. Row number 2, Amy Bush in 23. And Jared Stone in 15. Row number 3, Dougie Shears. Super Shears in 77. And beside him, Nick Newman in the 18. Row number 4 has come Austin in the 89. And the 62 of our Daytona winner, Tim Gardner. The, uh, the second Daytona race, I should say. Here comes the command to fire him up for the final time. Drivers, start your engines! This season, and the uh, commands to fire the, uh, fire the engines. Tim Gardner was winner of the Pepsi Max 250 at Daytona, by the way. Ryan Acosta, uh, John Acosta in 33, and the 32 of Jake Williams have row number 5. Row number 6 has Samuel Mills and Stephen Pollard, the third in 24. And row number 7, Keith Batson in the 6, and the 87 of, of uh, Mark Matthews. And then it's Craig Batson in the 43, and Jillian Wilson in the 20 in row number 8. And by the way, our Pulse our Championship points leader, Joshua Collard, starts down in the down in the 29th position. So Joshua Collard's going to have uh, quite a, a, cha a challenge for the championship here between uh, he and Jenny Joe. As they come out to turn number four, 30 laps to the side. All oh, green flag in the air. We're underway at Homestead. Off into turn number one, Kyle Matthews jumping out in front in car number 70. Back stretch. Matthews is trying to get his way back in the top 10 of the points, trying to make it, keep himself in the top 10 of the points chase with the, with the number 70 car out of ML Motorsports. As they come out of turn number four, Amy Bush tries to get inside, tries to take a serious challenge for the lead. And let's see who leads the first lap of the race. It will be Kyle Matthews leading the first lap of the event. First lap at 167.499 miles per hour. Amy Bush inside for the lead. She's going to get it coming out of turn number two. But Kyle Matthews is not giving up without a fight down the back stretch. Two, a pair of Chevrolets battling it out as Amy Bush takes the lead now, number 23. So Matthews now has to settle for the outside lane with he and Dougie Shears. And Bush will lead the second lap of the race. The second lap at over 186.4 miles an hour. So almost a 20 mile an hour jump from the first and second laps on. From 167 to 186. And now here comes Dougie Shears inside for the lead. And now Kyle Austin is going to try to make a three wide for the lead now. Shares on the lap, but here comes Kyle Matthews now with the help of John Acosta in the 33. Acosta almost went down there at four wide almost. Now the back stretch they come. Matthews, or Kyle Austin says, he's being number 89. No problems in turn number two. Kyle Matthews has crashed. John Acosta. Oh, got some Acosta getting hit. Joshua Collard made it through. Daniel Day didn't. Rohit Bader Buse in it. Drew Austin made it through. Kyle Matthews, what a horrible part of the season for the Johanna Long car. Started from the pole, had high hopes of maybe possibly getting the win to close out the season. Dougie Shears was in it. Samuel Ogo's in it. Let's see what happens. They're coming out of turn number two.
Yep. The top box of each other out of the race. Yeah, and there's where everybody else, they just all piled right in there, and Russ Batson's in it, Taylor Acosta was in it, Amy Bush was in it. Phew! Kyle Matthews almost got hit by, on two sides. Uh, Dylan Ogo, he crashed right into Sam, uh, into Dougie Shears, and On board with Kyle Matthews at number 70. From John Acosta's view. Oh. And now from Dougie Shears' view. Shears was leading the race when all this happened as well. Dougie Shears get jacked up from behind by um, the car of, D of Dylan Ogo. As it comes out to number four, green flag back in the air, we're underway. Later now, the defending nationwide champion from season three, season three, Samuel Mills. And number 31, Keith Batson currently second, third, Joshua Michaels as he's looking for the helicopter cam. Batson going for the lead. He almost pulled out the Truck Series race. And in fact, I thought he had the Truck Series race won, as a matter of fact, when Mike Becker from behind snuck in and beat Batson by just a, by just a foot at the strike. Craig Batson, number 43, goes inside of Joshua Michaels now trying for the lead. The pair of Batsons going at Craig and Keith. Jared Stone right there in the 15. Samuel Mills, Tim Gardner, Jacob Budd, Mark Matthews in the 87. The Williamses there, Jake and his sister, uh, Nicole, Jake in the 32, and the Kyle Larson card, Nicole Williams in the Jennifer Joe Cobb card, number 10. Been a pretty good season for that car, as a matter of fact. I'm about to complete 11 laps here. 19 laps to go here at the first season at Homestead. I'm checking in on the points series. I'm checking in on the points chase. Joshua Collard, our championship leader, runs 17th in the race right now as he and Jenny Joe have picked up from 30 from 29th starting position. Joshua with four with three wins on the season at. at Kentucky at Kentucky and again at Watkins Glen after having a rough first part of the season by the way as well for Joshua Collard um, 
by his standards, I should say, rough part of the season, but all have gone well in the second half of the season for for Collard. As he hopes to give Jennifer Joe Cobb Racing his first ever nationwide championship. And for Collard, I think he's never won a championship in NRL 2003 racing, neither. Speaking of, the, speaking of Jennifer Joe Cobb Racing, their second car is Nicole Williams behind the wheel, number 10. Now tries to go for the lead now as the, as Nicole, who has a win this season on a road course at Watkins Glen, or at a um, road course at Road America. And oh, problems in Nicole! And just as I said it, she's crashed! Along with Craig Batson, he's also in the crash. Oh, up and over goes Craig. Drew Austin's crashed. 87, Mark Matthews. Kyle Austin's crashed. Oh, the second time we've seen the leaders crash out while battling for the top spot. Un freaking believable. And Jacob Budd, you can add him on the list. He's also crashed as well. So I again a replay. Nicole, I'm not sure she got tapped from behind or not. Yeah, if she got hit from behind by Craig Batson in the 43, it sent her right into the field. The top four all crashing out, and Nicole comes back and hits Joshua Michaels in the 12. And Nicole and Jacob, considering the crash itself, they came out okay, except for a couple of scrapes, but you now the back end's damaged right there on the Jacob Budd machine. That's the Eric McClure car he's driving. And that, cry, and that crash knocked Nicole Williams right out of the race. So right now, your leader is our winner at Phoenix, Jacob Lawler, number 99, looking at her second win, to see, the second win in a row to close out the season. Second is Cameron Yilson. Third is Angel Navarro. Fourth, Tim Jared Stone. Fifth, Tim Gardner. In 62, and our points leader, Joshua Collard, uh, excuse me, runs in sixth place. So Joshua Collard, after starting 29th, has worked his way up through the field very, very well as the green flag waves were back underway. Twelve laps to the side of all in the championship season here at Homestead. It'll be 27 laps, by the way, for the Castrol GTX Cup Series Ford EcoBoost 400. And there's a championship battle going on there three way as well. Just like we had in the truck series. Collard going three wide inside between he, Jared Stone, and Angel Navarro. As Cameron Gilson takes the lead now, car number 55. Laps clicking off over 188 miles an hour a lap here on these cars. Jared Stone diving inside. 10 laps to go here at Homestead. Stone to 15. Gilson in 55. Joshua Collard trying for third spot now. As he goes inside of Jacob Lawler. Stone inside for the lead, but not going. Here comes Collard. Joshua Collard trying to get his five bonus points for leading a lap. Denied. Jared Stone takes the has the five points for leading a lap. Nine to go. 
The way we've seen the battles up front, I don't know if I want to be up front like Joshua Collard is in that 13. Things can get very, very wild. And almost in between he and Lawler. Eight to go. Jared Stone out in front. In second now is Jacob Lawler. Lawler for the lead. On uh, here, being shot by Joshua Collard. Ford on the outside. Toyota on the inside. And it's Jacob and it's Jacob Lawler taking the Alex Bowman car out in front. third turn now. Joshua Collard. Now he's going to try for the lead. Collard dives inside of, of Lawler. Who leads this lap of the race here? Will it be Collard or Lawler? It looked like Lawler had it the strike. Yes, he did. But just inches over Joshua Collard. Six laps remaining on the season here at Homestead Miami Speedway. Nick Newman, number 18, goes inside for the lead. Neilman won earlier this season. And he's got Dalton Day down the inside now. And Colward led the lap. He gets his five points for the lap now. Neilman going up high. Dalton Day down low. Low. Yeah. Dalton Day, number 88 for the lead. Close corners out of turn number four. Four to go. Nick Nilman out in front. Dalton Day, he's trying his best to try to pass. But Joshua Collard, he's shoving Nick Nilman out in front. What racing we're seeing here at Homestead Miami Speedway. Nick Newman is the poise first. In the second goes Dalton Day. Third, Joshua Collard. If Collard stays where he's at right now, the championship is as good as his. Daniel Day is going inside number two. He's going for the third spot now on, on Collard. As Dalton Day tries inside, now he's going to take the lead. Two laps to go. Dalton Day, out in front. He wants to close out the season with a win. Here for the Castro Lodge Nation West Series. He has three of them this season. The Dolphins killed Dalton Day. All those races where he's DNF'd. That's what's killed him for the championship hopes. But here comes oh, Daniel Day. He wants, to clean. he wants to spoil it all. Daniel Day goes inside for the lead. He's going to get it. Turn, turn, turn number four. Out to number four. White flag waves here at Homestead. Daniel Day out in front. Joshua Collard. He goes inside for a second. He goes inside now for the lead. Day on the outside. Collard on the inside. Who's it going to be in the 40 go boost 300? Collard diving inside of Day. Here. They make it go three wide here for the smart position. Here they come on the corner number four to start finish line. It'll be Joshua Collard winning here at Homestead. Joshua Collard and the car he calls Jenny Joe wins it on the last lap here at Homestead. What a finish! Two races at Homestead and two tremendous finishes to close out their seasons for the Nationwide and the Truck Series. Wonder what we're going to have for the Cup Series. Phew! Unbelievable here. Average speed 050, average speed 120.08, 659. Look at the margin 055 from first to second and 085 from first to third. Awesome racing.
And there's your finishes. Here's your finishing order, top 20. Here, Joshua Carr takes the win. Daniel Day second. Nick Nealman third. Fourth, Cameron Gilson. Fifth, Dalton Day. Six was Jared Stone, Stephen Pollard the third, Angel Navarro, Jacob Lawler, and Julian Wilson the top tw ten in this event. Whew. Wow. Cody Lummis eleventh and twelfth was Jake Williams thirteenth, Tim Gardner, Keith Batson, Jeff James the top fifteen, then Dylan Young, Samuel Mills, John Azalea, uh, Lisa Shears, and Charles Jackson the top twenty in this event. Wow, oh my gosh. There's the rest of your finishing order. A uh, big attrition list of 11 cars out of the race. Nicole Williams, Jacob Budd because of crashes. Uh, Mark Matthews had an ignition problem. He not, he's out. Kyle Austin, Craig Batson, Drew Austin, all with a crash. Cam Shaft problem for Rohit Vaderview. Russ Batson, Taylor Acosta with crashes. Dylan Ogo with a clutch problem. And John Acosta with a crash. But a big win for Joshua Carden. There's your championship trophy, Joshua. And there it is. Joshua Carden is your, is your season four champion of the Castro Edge Nationwide Series as he takes the first one for the Jennifer Joe Cobb Racing Team. And there's your final finishing order in the points chase here for the season four of the series. Joshua Carden wins, wins the championship by 149 points. Over Drew Austin. Dalton Day finishes third in the points chase. Fourth, Julian Wilson. Fifth was Samuel Mills. Uh, Stephen Pollard, a third, sixth. Seventh was Taylor Acosta. Uh, Nicole Williams comes home in eighth position. Ninth was Cody Lamas. And tenth was Jacob Budd. And your season four rookie of the year in the Castro Legend Nationwide Series will go to Drew Austin. He is your season four champion, or season four rookie of the year. Of the Castro Edge Nationwide Series. That goes to the highest finishing rookie in the points chase, by the way. For, in my series. Uh, Cameron Gilson comes home in t 11th. Mark Matthews was 12th. Jacob Lawler, 13th. Joshua Michaels. Dylan Young, 15th. 16th was t Jared Stone. Kyle Matthews ends up 17th. Uh, with two wins on the season. John Acosta, Kyle Austin, and Daniel Day round out the top 20. Your winners, your race winners out of the top 20 in the points chase, Joshua Collard with five wins on the season. That's the most out of any driver, by the way, this season too. Um, Drew Austin with one win. Dalton Day with four wins. Julian Wilson with three. Samuel Mills with one. Stephen Paul with a third with two wins. One win for Taylor Acosta. Nicole Williams with one win. Uh, Cameron Gilson with one win. One win for Jacob Lawler. One win for Joshua Michaels. Two wins for Kyle Matthews in the Johanna Long Car. And Kyle Austin with one win. Rest of your finishing order in the points chase. Uh, Tim Gardner with one win this season. He finishes 21st in the points. Craig Batson had three wins on the season. He finishes in 22nd. Uh, Rohit Baderby 23rd. Samuel Ogo with one win finishes 24th. Uh, Jake Williams 25th. 26th was Jeff James with one win. He actually ends up tied with Lisa Shears, who does who didn't win a race this season. Uh, Amy Bush with 28th. 29th was Russ Batson. 30th was John Azalea with one win. Keith Batson, 31st with a win. Uh, Nick Newman had a win. He finishes 32nd. Charles Jackson with a win. Finishes 33rd. Uh, Austin Ogo and Dougie Shears either one with a win. Ogo, 34th. Dougie Shears, 35th. Angel Navarro, two wins this season. He ends up 36th. Uh, 37 was Dylan Ogo, and Stephen pa Steve Pollard was 8, 38th in the points chase. And the final championship stats for Joshua Collard. Five poles, five wins, 11 top fives, and 16 top tens, and yet six DNFs. That was all in the first part of the season, too. <laughs> but when Joshua got on, he got on. And there, so, congratulations, so congratulations to your Season 4 champion of the Cash Lodge Nationwide Series, Joshua Collard. And the Jennifer Joe Cobb Racing Team. So sign-ups will be happening for Season 5. will be happening pretty soon. And so until Season 5, you know, I'll still be saying so long for the Cash Lodge Nationwide Series.